Hello guys, my name is Yonggi and today I'm with my friend Urto and Yefta who we'll show you a little demonstration about how to make a text and shape using LEGO Mindstorm with NXT programming. Let's begin. First, what we have to do is preparing LEGO's components for make a printer robot. The LEGO's components are such as NXT beams, axles, racks, bases, gears, pin connectors, and plate. And the important elements are NXT brick as a controller, NXT motor as an actuator, NXT touch sensor as a switch or indicator if you reach the end of the work area. And after we successfully built this printer robot, the robot is visually like this. This is the robot from front view, and then this is the robot from side view, and then this is the robot from rear view, and the last is this is the robot from top view. Our robot has a work area like this, 22 cm in x-axis and 16 cm in y-axis. In our robot's mechanics, we use several combination of gears to obtain an optimal torque. 8 tooth gears is very mounted with 40 tooth gears, and 40 tooth gears is parallel mounted with 12 tooth gears. Gear A is coupled with NXT motor, and gear C is a gear which runs on the rack. We get the gear ratio between A to B is 5 to 1, and B to C is 1 to 1. It means gear ratio between A to C is 5 to 1. The conclusion is 5 rotation of NXT motor equals to 1 rotation of gears in the rack. Theta A is most equals to theta C. Then we substitute the theta C with S per R and we get S equals to theta A multiplied with R. Since A is NXT motor and we define its value by one rotation and R is radius of gear C and we get the value from data sheet is 0.65 cm. Then we get S value is 0.65 cm. So the conclusion is our robot movement resolution equal to 0.65 cm per rotation. Okay, after those mechanics calculation, let's begin the drawing mechanism. First, we want to make a LEGO text to be printed with our robot. The dimension of LEGO text is kinda like this. We are defining the length of the lines in centimeters, then we convert it into rotation by dividing the length in centimeters with movement resolution. After we get the length of the lines in rotation, we divide it into three segments similarly for every line. For an example, 6 rotation length will be divided into 2 rotation length for 3 times. This thing is used to select 2 rotation for uniform accelerated motion and 2 rotation for uniform rectilinear motion and 2 rotation for uniform decelerated motion. As you can see, that is the motion diagram overall. Red arrow explain the uniform accelerated motion. Blue arrow explain the uniform rectilinear motion. And the green arrow explain the uniform decelerated motion.
After that, we are going to input the every number of rotation to the NXTG program. This is the NXTG program for making L leather in the LEGO world. As you can see, there are three blocks of driver for motor C. Block number one contains two rotation ramp up. Block number two contains two rotation constant, and block number three contains two rotation ramp down. Same with before. Block number one contains two rotation ramp up. Block number two contains two rotation constant, and block number three contains two rotation ramp down. Just the direction of motor C is the opposite from before. If you want a complete program, you can download it from the link in the description. Second, we want to make a pentagon. The dimension of pentagon we will make is like on the picture. We are defining the length of the lines in centimeters, then we convert it into rotation in the same way as before. As you can see, there is the motion diagram overall. Red arrow explains uniform accelerated motion, blue arrow explains the uniform rectilinear motion, and the green arrow explains the uniform decelerated motion. Okay, after seeing this, we just go ahead and look at this demonstration video. This is the second demonstration. In this demonstration, our robot will make a pentagon shape. Okay, and this is a picture of the result.
we can see that there are many errors in the lines. This is because the pen script is not sturdy enough. Okay guys, that's it. Thanks for watching our video. If you have a comment or suggestion, please write down below. See you at the next opportunity and 